picture, I was like, like it hit me right between the eyes when I saw it. Um, I had to find out later, because I went to the coffee shop, which one of you guys sent me this? My staff, it was, ended up being Mark Hill, out of where he found it or where he saw it. So um, when we put it out, we got business owners, I mean, you know, so I called when we found out who it was, um, I called and it was, uh, we had Molly McGuire's name. So what do you think my first question was? Did you marry the guy so your name could be Molly McGuire? <laughs> um, but we talked for a while and what I got because you guys are looking at it as though here's a guy and we know the power of basketball in our state. We all know it. You, you saw it when I went out this summer and you, you see it. But my thought was that's what this was about. He wanted to be there so bad that he was willing to leave without showering, without change, just get in his car and go because he got out of the mine late. I wonder about that, is that he wanted to be there with his son. That's why he did it. So you're talking about a minor, and I, I've said my family, I called my dad today, I said, Clarksburg? He said it was Clarksburg, it might have been Shin, Shin Town, where my grandfather worked. And, um, and Molly's comment to me is, my husband is humble, he's hardworking, Th this is hard work, but he makes enough being there that I don't have to work. And he's a great father. He's done this many times. She said, do you know his beard is red? And I said, what do you mean? He said, that was coal dust in his beard. And so um, I said, well, what did he say? He hadn't heard yet. What? He's still underground. What? So then I called back after he got back home and, and it was, they called me to the office. And not, first of all, I thought I did something. And I come out there cheering me, what are you people doing? But here's what it is for me. You guys know me, I, for two years I couldn't go anywhere. We were COVID, couldn't be out, couldn't, just awful for everything. But that, I've done some things that's been, that have been fulfilling for my wife and I. But this, you'd have to say, you're bringing light to a good man, a hardworking Kentuckian, a coal miner, who does everything he can to make time for his family and his son and his daughter. Come on, that's what it ends up being. That's the story. And, um, and then it just went crazy, went viral. Now, I'm saying to you, you got hotels calling, we want to put them up. You got restaurants calling, we want to feed them dinner. You had a car dealership, call them, we'll give you a car to drive out. Think about this. And isn't it neat for someone like that who's a quiet, humble guy to know? People appreciate you, and we appreciate what you stand for. And I appreciate it because it's how my family got their start in this country. The American dream started in a coal mine in Clarksburg, West Virginia. Now, backbreaking work, yes. So the, the other comment, I went underground in West Kentucky, and I believe I went underground in that mine he was in. So, you know, the mine, there were parts of it that were five, six feet high, seven feet high, and then there were parts of it that were like three feet high. And I said, well, how, what, do, you know, what? Well, they said, it's a duck walk. What? So I looked at the guy and I said, what, what if, you, do you go up to have lunch? Do you, you know, go to the bathroom? Do you go? And that's when the guy's, I can't remember his name, but he looked like John Wayne. We go down together and we come out together or up together. And I put it on, when I got back, I put it on my team's wall and just said, guys, this is us. You know why they hold each other accountable? 
Do you have to have the manager down there or do they hold each other accountable? It's life or death. If you're not pulling your weight, someone's going to say something. If you're not ready to be there, one of the other minors will say something. That's when a team is empowered. And I talk to my guys about it. And, and you know, it's just a, a great lesson. And I, and I showed them the picture yesterday of Michael and his son. And I talked about hard, back-breaking work that's honorable work that but he makes time for his son. Even when he knew he couldn't shower, he wouldn't matter what he looked like. He just wanted to be with his son. So believe me, it hit home as soon as I saw it. And within five minutes, I called TJ in and I said, let's go. We got this one here. I'm taking care of this guy and his family. So that's the whole story. And I'm sticking with it. John, I hate to bring this up, but I'll get it out of the way, first of all. They, they say that 